name is Ryan Anderson. Uh, this is a quick demo of some R code that I wrote uh, to interact with the Watson Developer Cloud Conversation Service. Um, the Conversation Service is a compilation of uh, dialogue, natural language classifier, and entity extraction, plus some new tooling that's been rolled up into one. Um, so what I will do is I'll jump on the Bluemix and I'll have a look here. Uh, if you sign up for Bluemix and go to the dashboard, you can launch the conversation service uh, by clicking on services and APIs. Um, and then from there, you'll be presented with a dashboard of Watson Developer Cloud Services. Here's the conversation service that's right here. Um, if you click on that, um, you can launch the service with your credentials. You can also launch some tooling. Uh, I've already done this uh, to sort of set this up. Um, the tooling looks like this. And um, so my conversation service is called Mackenzie here. Uh, once your service is running, the username and password credentials uh, are available over here on the left-hand side in, in service credentials. And then when you want to launch the tooling service, uh, you click over here to, to the launch tool and, and then you'll go into the UX that looks like this. Uh, so I've already set one up. It's called Delicious. Um, the focus here is on uh, differentiating whether the user is interested in talking about uh, wine or coffee or cheese or chocolate. Uh, so let's click on this. Now, now that we're inside the conversation tooling, there's three main areas of focus. One is on intents, uh, which you can think of as the natural language classifier, um, entity extraction, and then dialogue, which is sort of the, um, uh, the flow chart of the dialogue flow. So here we're in intents. And there's four major intents here. A desire to understand whether somebody is keen on talking about chocolate or expressing they like chocolate. Um, so there's this is a ground truth, a set of examples for uh, the chocolate utterances. Similarly for wine topics or the next one here. Um, coffee, uh, people talking about caffeine and coffee, Starbucks, and then lastly cheese. Um, and these, these help the system understand what the uh, desire and the intents of the utterances are. Um, I'll flip over here to dialogue for the conversational flow. Uh, once the conversation starts, um, somebody walks in the front door and is greeted with a welcome to the tasty help or what are you looking for? Um, and then a response is given. And based on that response and, and what we've trained up to understand the intents, uh, we can understand whether someone is interested in wine, cheese, coffee, chocolate, or anything else as sort of a wild card catch all. So let's go look at coffee here. So if somebody comes in the conversation, expresses they like coffee, um, there's a, the system responds and says, yes, makes me very productive. And let's say the person continues to go on about coffee, drilling deeper and saying, oh, you know, wow, you know, two in a row here, um, you know, uh, you must really love caffeine. And then once again, somebody's continuing on around coffee, you, know, you get to level three, like, wow, you're really keen on coffee. Uh, similarly, if somebody comes in, starts talking about coffee and then switches up their conversation to chocolate, uh, the system sort of understands it that somebody has switched over from coffee to chocolate and admonishes them to make up their mind. And uh, once they're through these flows, they go back to the original and starts the conversation again. Uh, so that's a real uh, simple example. I won't go into the wine, cheese, and um, other paths here, but uh, you can see how the nodes uh, expand here. Um, so from there, um, let's go into R. So I, I um, leveraged the HTTR package. And we're going to be making some post calls based on some of the documentation here in the com conversation reference manual. Um, the actual code is available on my repo, um, Rusty Old Rake. Um, and then within that, it's R scripts for Watson. So let's click on, click on that. And uh, we'll click on Watson conversation code backbone. And this is the code we're about to run here, so it's uh, not very long. Um, uh, we'll walk through this, but we've got our libraries, uh, we've got our credentials, uh, and then we've got some functions that we're declaring, and then we'll run a, a brief test that uh, is down here. So let's switch over to R. Uh, let's load the HTTR and the split stack shape library and the reshape2 libraries uh, to get started. Uh, and then after that, we will uh, set our directory, verify our directory, and we're going to pull in the um, keys file here. Uh, I won't show you that because those are my credentials, but again, the uh, username and password uh, are available here as your service credentials. And the third, um, 
thing that you'll need is the workspace um, ID and that's available if you go into um, the um, tooling and uh, click on here and look at the details and you can see your workspace ID number. That's the third component in addition to username and password to launch. You can also get it from uh, up top in the, in the URL uh, when you're uh, knocking around in there. Um, so let's go to our code. Um, so we've got our, um, our URL for our API calls. Um, I won't run these ones. Uh, so let's start by doing our function declarations. This is the in conversation initialization. Uh, you'll see here there's uh, the dialog um, stack is set to root because uh, we don't have a node ID yet. Uh, there's no text necessary either. Uh, this is basically a, a hey I'm here uh, moment uh, and that's the initialization. Once that is sent the response will give you a, a conversation ID hook and a dialog stack node um, hook to get into. So that's our next function here when we're engaging in a chat and this can be used uh, repeatedly uh, to engage um, and be updated. So as the conversation goes on the conversation ID should stay the same. The stack nodes will change uh, depending on where folks are in the um, hierarchy of the, uh, of the conversation. Um, so with that, um, uh, the last function we've got here is the response process. This basically just cleans up the response and puts it into a, a tabular format. Um, and that's the end of the functions. And then we've got, got basically a short bit of code to test here so let's start by initializing uh, the, um, uh, the setup and um, take, pulling our response back from the system. Seeing what we got, that's what's come back from the system here. And so it's given us a conversation ID uh, hook and it's also um, given us a, an initial node to start off with, node six, uh, which looks, um, on the other side here. So this is sort of our first node. Um, so now, now that we've got our, um, our start and we've initialized, uh, we are going to um, process um, this and here's what it looks like cleaned up. There's our conversation ID. Uh, our dialog stack, and then actually this is the system response here. Uh, it's a bit messy way to do it, but we're going to pull out our text, our conversation ID, and our dialog stack um, into these uh, temporary variables. And that's what we're going to start um, passing um, through to kick off the conversation. And we'll basically repeat this uh, engagement and uh, continue to run the conversation chat uh, until we're effectively ejected from the, uh, uh, from the flow chart. So I'm going to hit repeat here and we're going to start running this and um, I'm going to start talking about coffee repeatedly. Um, and then I'm going to go the first route here. We're going to go through the, all, all three ways through coffee. And I timed out because my network's not cooperating. But let's try this again. Uh, so we're at level one, and I'm going to let's do coffee again here. And we're at now we're at level two. Uh, you can see our nodes are changing as we go through the steps, but our conversation ID is unchanged. Uh, so let's go one more for coffee. Uh, and again, that's we're here in the process. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Um, and we've popped out the other side um, and are back to the conversation start. So let's rerun the process, a brand new conversation, brand new conversation ID. We're gonna, let's do coffee, then chocolate, and we'll get admonished that we're um, not making up our minds. So let's try it again here. All right, and uh, we... Again, we start with the coffee utterance, and then what we're going to do is we're going to change our mind here and, and put in chocolate for a second one. Chocolate. 
Um, and you can see we've gone here to the, uh, the alternate path. Uh, the nice thing about NL classifier is um, you don't need to have a verbatim um, uh, match. Uh, the natural language classifier is very good at sort of understanding the desire. So uh, Java beans and caffeine spelled wrong. And it still knows we're talking about coffee here. Um, so uh, that should do it for the demo. Um, the the code is here under Rusty Alderweireld R scripts for Watson. Um, documentation is here. Uh, you can get and invoke the service by signing up for Bluemix. Uh, username and password are here. Uh, the tooling is available over here, uh, and that is the conversation service with um, hooks into the R programming language. Uh, I hope you found this uh, helpful.